Hello, class. How are you? Hello, class. How are you? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi. Fine. How about you? Good. Good. How are you? Fine. Good. A little tighter, but I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, good, good. I like to hear that. Last day of the week. Yeah, so I'm hoping that everybody is ready and ready to go. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, I'm glad to see you guys here. I'm glad that everybody's, um, well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, many of you are connected on time. How was this week? How was this week? Did you have a good week, a bad week? Tell me about it. How was this week? Good, bad, tell me about it. Maybe busy. It was busy. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Um, is, is it, was it a, like, is it normally a busy week or was it more busy than usual? It's more, nor, most normal than usual because this week I had to report, uh, something for accounting, uh, because I'm working with, a a, a company that do taxes in the United States. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, so, uh, so it's like a lot of work uh, with the IRS. Over there. Yes. Okay, I see. Well, okay. The, the important thing is that um, there is work. <laughs> right? I know that sometimes we, we say, oh, you know, we wish we didn't work so much, but the good thing is that we do have a job, right? Like, I mean, that's that's something, um, you know, positive that, you know, not, not many people have the opportunity of having. So that's great. All right, guys. Um, just give me a moment. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Okay, all right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our attendance, okay? So we're gonna start with right now. Our attendance. Um, okay, give me a moment. Okay, so Alejandra. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Alejandra. And Chris, Cristina? Okay. Okay, so Cristina is there, but she's having problems with them with the internet. No worries. Okay. Um, Ani? Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Ani. Blessing. Okay. Uh, do you have problems with the camera? Ani? Are you having problems with the camera? Okay. 
आणि आणि आर यू देअर अना क्रिस्टिना por eso es que está está inestable el internet quizás entonces okay all right no problem okay mari Manny, not here. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Carolina? Listen. Okay, very good. Welcome. And Christy? Present. All right, very good. Donde está Christy? Que no la veo. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, Lavi. Okay, Herson. Present. Okay, welcome, Herson. Yeah. Karina. Karina. No, no, Karina. Linda. Present. Okay, very good. Um, ma, uh, Julia? Julia, is Julie here? Julia, 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 no, okay. All right. What about Marlene? Present. All right. Welcome, Marlene. Maida? Is Maida here? Maida? No, Maida. Okay. Miguel? Present teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Maida, ¿tiene problemas con la camarita o la puede encender? Mayra, ¿tiene problemas con la camarita o la puede encender? Mayra. Mayra. Hmm. No, quizás no está. Ok, Miguel. Miguel. Okay, Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma. Norma? No, Norma. Okay. Uh, Olga. Present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Rafa. Present teacher. Great. Welcome. Uh, Senaida. Senaida. No, Senaida. Okay. Um, what about uh, Suleyma Rodriguez? Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Oh, okay, very good. Nice to present teacher. Okay, ya la vi. Thank you. Okay. Chicos, siempre enciendan su cámara. No es solamente para el momento de, de decir present. Siempre tiene que estar encendida su cámara. Pero eh, creo que pues siempre les acuerdo, acuerdo, así que creo que se acuerdan ustedes eso, ¿verdad? Um, Argelia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Nancy. Nancy. 
Nancy? No, okay. What about Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? Okay. Karen? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Thank you. Suleyma Melgar? Present teacher. All right, welcome Suleyma. Thank you teacher. Carla? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome Carla. And, and uh, Wilbur. Okay, bye. Solo para asegurarme que no haya no me haya perdido de alguien. Alejandra. Mari. Yes. Ahí está. Ah, va, perdón. Ok. Eh, Mari. Karina. Ju uh, Julia. Miguel. Present. Ah, Julia. Ok. All right. Welcome, Julia. Miguel. Um, Norma, Zenaida, Nancy, Juan Carlos y Wilbur. Ok, son los que no están todavía. Ok, bye. Chicos, eh, les a las agradezco que ya la, la gran mayoría de ustedes hoy sí ya están at, uh, acatando las instrucciones, ¿verdad? De mantener su camarita encendida. Les agradezco eso porque, um, pues, la verdad es que es parte de los, las indicaciones. No son cuestión mía, sino que es algo que a mí se me pide que les, que, que me asegure que ustedes sepan y que lo estén haciendo. Entonces, um, cuando no lo hacen, pues, a mí me cae la, la responsabilidad. Entonces, eh, pues por favor, uh, les pido siempre su colaboración al respecto, ¿verdad? Porque um, así pues todos, todo se puede llevar de, de la forma adecuada, ¿verdad? Y pues no haya inconvenientes. Ok, bueno. Um, ok, so guys and girls, um, I'm happy to... Um, see everybody at the end of the week. We're ready. We're, we're, we're ready to finish off this week with a big bang, okay? And that way we can go into our weekend and just relax and have fun, okay? But right now we're going to work, okay? That's the idea. We, we need to work, okay? Um, okay, so I'm going to... Um, let me see. Okay, I'm going to share here. Okay, so this is this is what we were looking at yesterday. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint or not. Yeah, okay. All right. So remember, this was, uh, we're looking at your turn. We were doing the vocab, working on the vocabulary, right? We had to join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, two six of the following words, create a conversation using those words. I gave you enough time to do that. And now we're going to present the conversation in front of the class. Okay, so that's what we're going to do at this moment present the conversation in front of the class, okay? Um, espero que podamos hacerlo porque um, veo que hay algunos que no, no están y I don't know if we're going to have enough Okay, let me just Okay, so in, hmm. okay, in group number one, we had Karina, Carla, and Linda. Karina, 
Sacarina, no. no Sacarina, ok. Eh, what about Carla? Carla sí creo que está, ¿verdad? Ok. And Linda, ok. So, Carla and Linda, are you ready with your conversation? Yes, yes, we are. Yeah, ok. All right, go for it. Ok. Hi. Hello, my name is Linda. I'm the new waitress. Hi, welcome, Linda. Do you know how to sit on a table? Yes, I know. Great. You will be the, in charge addressing the customers. Okay, perfect. And um, I would like to know about, about the menu. Uh, which are the main courses? Okay, the main courses are kitchen with rice and meatballs with pasta. Mm, sounds delicious. And what kind of wine we have available? Well, we have a lot of options of wines and the decanting wine area is over there. Okay. And by the way, could you tell me where is the schedule? Yes, it is on the board. And if you need to do a request in chain, you have to write on this book. Okay, thanks for your help, Carla. You're welcome. Excellent, okay. very good. Bravo, pause, bravo. Excellent, very good, everybody. Um, so, very good job. I, I, I liked it. And uh, you know what I really liked about it? Um, I liked the fact that you were, you were in character. You really, uh, look, you really felt like you were, um, you were talking a conversation, just a regular normal conversation, one from the other. Um, so that was wonderful. Very, very good, very natural. I liked it. Okay, so bravo girls. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, um, all right, we're going to continue to the next person. That's right, the next group. The next group is Karen and Argelia. I think I'm pretty sure you girls are here, so we're ready to hear you. Okay. So, teacher, we create two conversations using three three phrases, phrases to each um, conversation. So we're going to start with the first one. Um, Sorry, I, I didn't really get that. You used? Oh, we just, we create two conversation. And, oh. we, and, we, and we use three phrases mm -hmm. for each conversation that we create. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. go for it. Uh, number two, a day at work. Hi, Argelia. How are you? Hi, Karen. Fine. How about you? Uh, did you request a chief change to the next Friday? Yes, I did. But I'm not really sure what is the dress code, code for the dinner. Maybe you can, maybe you can dress formal, but I have a problem. Following the schedule, I need to the request achieve change to. So this was the first conversation and we're going to continue with the next one that is about a Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, hi, Argelia. Are we going to celebrate Valentine's Day with our classmates? Yes. I will prepare the table and I will decor decorate with many herbs. Perfect. And we can drink wine because it's a special day. Can you decline wine? Yes, I can do it. I can do Perfect. it, perdón. <laughs> Perfect. Also, we need to order food. What do you think about Clau y Canela? Also, uh, it's online and we can get in know the food, right? 
Yes. Can you ask to our classmates what they want to eat? Of course. So that's Finish all. Finish teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent, excellent, very good. Bravo. Um, Okay, so that was that was actually um, a good idea. I think um, it was a, a very reasonable idea to um, do do the two conversations and make the two the 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 two blend into each other. So that's great, excellent, bravo. Okay, so let's go now to the next group. The next group is. Um, Okay, in group number three, I have Mari. Mari, uh, were you with somebody? Yes, teacher, I worked alone. Oh, you were the one that was working alone. Okay, all right. Yes, teacher. Mari, in your your camera right now? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, okay. Right, let's do something, Mari. Um, voy a ver quién no tiene pareja en este momento y le voy a mandar para que usted para que pueda hacerlo con usted. Okay? So we're going to wait for a moment, okay? okay? Okay. Also, I have um Suleima Rodriguez. Suleima, are you here? Yes, I Okay. Uh, were you working with someone yesterday? Excuse me? Were you working with hear. somebody yesterday for the presentation? No, teacher. I yesterday, yesterday <laughs> I don't working. Ah, yesterday you were working. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Okay. Um, okay, just give me a moment. Okay, all right. Um, in that case, we're going to move on. Juan Carlos and Olga. Is Juan Carlos and Olga here? Me, I'm him, but Juan Carlos, no. Okay, but let's do something. Um, we're gonna give a little bit of chance to Juan Carlos to connect, because usually Juan Carlos connects a little later. Okay, and okay. I'm gonna do something. Eh, solo que él no estuvo la noche del miércoles, entonces no había hecho nada y casi no hicimos nada anoche. Yo lo hice sola, pero ya él no alcanzó a practicar conmigo. Mm, ok, then how about if I put you with, um, with Marisol? You can okay. exchange, you can exchange um, the information with Marisol. And then, yes, yes. So with Marisol, you can you can uh, like Marisol can send her send you her conversation. You can send Marisol your conversation, and then at the end you can you can practice the conversation together. Okay. Okay. Eh, o sea, en, 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 o sea, en, está claro. Quiero que que se intercambien conversaciones. Con, con Mari. Ok, Ok. Uh, o sea, pueden mándeselo, uh, ya sea por, por el chat acá, mándenlo privadamente o lo mandan por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Y, y entonces así pueden ustedes al final pasar con su, con su conversación. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, great. Let's continue then. Um, Okay, uh, in, in, room num in group number six, I have uh, Cristina, Carolina, and Nelson. 
Okay, teacher, teacher um, Nelson eh, no pudo trabajar con nosotros porque iba en camino. Ah. Cuando eso es solo con Cristi, pero tuvimos un error. Eh, yo le entendí que eran tres oraciones cada una utilizando el manual del mesero. Y bueno, eso es lo que hicimos. No leí la instrucción que teníamos que hacer la conversación. Mm. Así que solo tengo las oraciones que hice porque no me fijé y ni siquiera me fijé hoy para poderla construir en el, en el transcurso del día. Ok, all right, well, present whatever you have. Ok, whatever it okay. is that you have, you present it. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Ok, um, uh, City at Table, eh, eh, Sentence, One. Uh, Sears Castro need a table to be established. Uh, number two, the canting wine. Uh, Carlos, please, the can the wine up table three. Uh, Registering a shift chain. Uh, Andrea is requesting a schedule a chain for Saturday. Um, following the school, the school, Fernando and his group must follow the school schedule. Perdón, establish uh, on their on their chief. Finish. Established. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, and and so you did you did um, individual sentences or or how did you work on that? Yes, uh, yes. Christy, I have a, um, I have a, la that uh, that three. Ella tiene las otras tres que ella oh, construyó. Okay. okay, all right, perfect. All right, let's hear those then. Cristi? Ana Cristina? Se salió, Pichu. No está, ¿verdad? Sí, se salió. Estaba, pero se salió. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno. All right. Let's move on to the next one, then. Um, the next, I think, is... Mayra. Mayra, were you working with somebody? Mayra? Mayra? Hola, Mayra. ¿Está usted ahí? Tengo, no sé por qué tengo la sensación como que Mayra no está. Mayra? Hmm. Was somebody working with Maida? Was somebody working with Maida? No? Okay. Bueno, creo que no está. Marlene, Norma, and Rafa are in the next group. Mm-hmm. So? Mm-hmm. 
¿Qué pasó? Uh, we have Marlene. Marlene, is Marlene here? No, right? Marlene? Okay, se veo que está conectada, pero, ah, okay. Marlene? Are you there? Yes? Okay, perfect. That's my computer, yes. Oh, okay, no worries. Don't worry about it, okay. So Marlene, you were working with Norma and Rafa, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, and Norma. Norma no is there. Aha, uh -huh, se está viendo. Norma, Norma, Norma no está, ¿verdad? Okay, what about, okay, Rafa C, right? Okay, so yes. can you do the conversation, just the two of you? Teacher, huh? <laughs> we're confused uh, because I, Rafa and me, only reading that sentence, nor a conversation. It was not a conversation. No. Ah, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. A moment, please. A moment. I share. I share with, with Marlene. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Papa, you have a conversation. <laughs> okay. Rafa, si tiene conversación o cómo es la cosa. Podemos quedarnos de último. Um, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh, we can do that too. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank okay. You. All right. Um, okay. In that case, uh, we're going to move, but, pero no, solo para dejarles saber que no, no faltan mucho grupo, ¿verdad? Solo dejarles saber eso. Okay. Um, okay. Chris, Christy and Sinaida. Hello. Hello. You ready? Yeah. Anaida? I'm sorry, Tisha. It's okay. Um, where is my classmate? Uh, Christina's there. Hello, Christine. Hello, Anaida. Okay, I improve now because I don't remember the dialogue last night. Uh, I remember a little sentence. Uh, Hello, Christine. Could you go to with me uh, at the restaurant in front of your workplace? Hello, Senaida. Yeah, if we like to go to a restaurant for dinner. Okay. Um, I like the waitress is very kind with uh, the kind thing wine. Okay, is this a good idea? Is necessary getting to know the menu for the order my dish? Ah, okay. In this uh, restaurant, they have a excellent. Uh, prevention of accident and safety. Yeah, it's necessary for the personnel. I see they have a good dress code here. Christine, please don't forget. Uh, give about tips or taxes at waiter, okay? Don't worry, Senaida. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you. Only that teacher. Only that Bravo. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job, girls. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go to uh, Alejandra and Miguel. Miguel, are you there? Alejandra, where's Alejandra? I can't see Alejandra. Ahí está. Okay, Alejandra is there. Yes, teacher. Miguel, are you there? Miguel. 
Miguel? I'm sorry, hello. Okay, great, hello. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, solo, excuse, perdón, solo creo que nos regala un minuto en lo que terminamos como de, de adaptarnos bien a la conversation. Okay, you want one more minute? Yes, please. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, and, and while we are waiting for them to finish off, uh, I want to know if there are any questions about um, the exercises in the platform. Remember that is on Sat on sorry on Monday you have to finish all of Unit Two, so that means um, you're going to do all of the exercises, the two exercises that are left, because there were two exercises from Unit Two, and the midterm. So, any questions that you have for those? Something you want to ask me about? Con gusto les respondo cualquier cosa que necesiten saber. Solo déjenme saber. No, everything is clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm guessing then there's nothing you want to ask, right? Because eh, so. si no, si no, eh, si no preguntamos ahorita, me imagino que me, es porque todo está claro, ¿verdad? Porque si no, con gusto les ayudo, pero necesitan, neces, necesitan decirme eh, que, en, en qué necesitan ayuda. It's sure for me it's clear. It's clear? Okay, good, 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 okay. So it's all clear for everybody? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 okay. Um, okay. Um, okay, tell me when, whenever you're ready. Let us know. Olga and me, we are ready. You ready? Yes. Oh, yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So, um, okay, we're, and we are ready for you. Okay. okay. Your conversation first, Olga. Okay. Good morning, my friend. What is your uniform this day? Oh, today I'm dressing yellow teacher and blue pants. In your company, they have a prevention of accident and safety? Yes, we, we do it. It's a norm to follow. Do you receive tips our last day of week? Yes, sometimes it's so good, most the weekends. Oh, it's okay, very good. Okay, now my conversation. Um, hello, Olga, how are you? I'm fine, and you, Mari? Um, I'm good. Um, I would like to inform you that we are going to organize a training and we will include some steps, for example, setting a table, dress code, and getting to know the menu. That sounds great. And when is going to be the timing? Um, I'm not sure, be, uh, maybe next week, because I want to add more topics. For example, following the schedule, what do you think? That's great. Maybe about prevention of accident is a good topic. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Thank you. All right. Very good, girls. Excellent. Very good job. Very, very good job. 
Okay, and you did it at last minute, so that's excellent. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, um, so Miguel, um, are we ready? Uh, Miguel and um, quiero ver quién era. Se me fue. Ah, Alejandra. Miguel and Alejandra. Miguel, Miguel, hello, eh, mandé la conversación al, al chat del grupo. Lo que pasa es de que nosotros también entendimos, eh, bueno, mal, hicimos oraciones, no hicimos la conversación. Entonces, pero la estábamos trabajando ahorita que estábamos con nuestros compañeros. Ok, so you have a conversation or you have sentences? Hicimos... Eh, Como oraciones, no preguntas, fueron oraciones. Okay, so uh, give me the, the sentences. But right now I, I want you to, to go ahead and just whatever you have. Okay, teacher. And, um... Bueno, eh, vemos, eh, my sentences, number one, I requesting a shift change to my manager. And number two, in my work, we participate in talk about safety and accident prevention. And number three, eh, I work I work from Monday to Friday following a schedule. In number four, I turn to the client to offer help. In number five, in my work, I have to always present myself with a complete and clean uniform. Okay, that's finished. Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you. Bravo. And uh, Miguel? 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 Is Miguel not there? Se salió Miguel. He wrote by WhatsApp. Oh, I'm he sorry. Had con I don't have my cell phone near. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess he'll he'll pass to the end. Okay, um, great. Let's uh, move on to the next one, the last group. Um, Anna, uh, oh, so Annie and Julia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> uh, Julia, no sé si está conectada. Julia, Julia, she is there. Hello. Okay. Hello, Julia. Julia, do you have? Uh, do you have? Um, you, can you open up your camera? Sí, pero siempre se ve oscuro. Okay, pero por lo menos tenemos ahí algo que ver. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Inicia. Hello, Anna, how are you? Very good. I tell you that I already have a job in a restaurant. Congrats. And what do you do? I am a waiter. I am learning so much. For example, I can sit in a table. Also, the canting white and uh, uh, addressing customer and getting to know the meaning. Oh, wow. And what about your schedule? I have heavy hours, but I have an emer energy I can request in a choose change. Okay, perfect. See you later, Anna. I am in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Only teacher. Only teacher. 
Excellent. Bravo. Very, very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Eh, ya todos pasaron. Se me ha quedado alguien. Yo sí sé. Su lema. Pero este, las estoy haciendo. Si usted después se las. Porque no ah. tengo. No, no, ayer no pude conectarme. Ah, ok, ok. Pero, ok. No, yo, yo digo de los que, los que hicimos la conversación. Si no, ah, no. Alguien. Sorry. No? Ok. Great. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Very, very um, Now, what I want to um, suggest is that you pay attention um, to the instructions um, because the instructions, um, if you like, they like not only did I say them, but they were written. So, um, for example, yesterday, I'll show you what it said. Hmm. Sorry. Give me a moment. Okay, so these were the instructions for this activity. I gave you the, the, the vocabulary. And then said, join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, choose six of the following words, create a conversation using those words, and present the conversation in front of the class. So uh, aquí estaba la instrucción, create a conversation. No sé qué realmente fue, cuál fue la, 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 el, la confusión. No sé, es que no vimos es, esta, esta, esta presentación, no lo sé. Pero también eso me indica que no sé si no estamos en, la, en to, toda la clase, ¿verdad? Porque, um, eh, pues sí, para poder realmente entender las instrucciones, tenemos que ver la, 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 diaposit la diapositiva. Entonces, eh, les sugiero que tengan mucho cuidado ahí con las instrucciones, porque también incluso, o sea, leer instrucciones nos va a ahorrar mucho tiempo, um, no solamente en clases, sino que, por ejemplo, con la, las, um, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si usted lee bien las instrucciones, entonces puede ser que no tenga que estar pasando mucho tiempo con ese ejercicio. Entonces, um, te, sean muy cuidadosos cuando se eh, lee las instrucciones, ¿ok? Ok. All right, so let's continue, guys. Um, give me one minute while I okay. Okay, so I'm going to right now present the PowerPoint for today. Please tell me if you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, very good. So we have the uh, vocabulary practice. Your um, facilitator, Jessica Guerrero, let's see, intermediate one is class number 14. So this is something that we saw at the end of the class yesterday. Remember these sentences with um, it would be better, right? But we also, so we had the it would be better uh, plus the infinitive. We also saw that there are other alternatives like um, it would be good, right? 
or would you prefer or would it wouldn't it be better okay um and then we notice that with these ones uh, we always use the infinitive right but with would it be good we use the if clause right so this is what we were studying yesterday right would be better or would better okay so we always you have the subject and usually the subject is going to be it then it says would be better okay and then we have the infinitive right so that's the structure that um we learned yesterday right so the structure and you will notice that it's exactly the structure that these ones follow right okay um and and also with the ones that we have here they follow that same structure right um so we have oh sorry So we have, it would be better to let, it would be better to let. Those was what we learned. And in the, the examples I gave you here, we also see the same thing. It would be better to get, it would be better to buy, it would be better to let, it would be better to reuse, right? And that's, that's what we learned yesterday um, with the would be better, but, we also learned that there are alternatives, right? Okay, and the alternatives are, would you prefer, would it be better to, and one that is like an exception is, it would be, it would be good if, right? So over here, um, you notice that we have, it would be good, oh no, sorry, my mistake. Uh, would you prefer to wait? It continues using that same structure with the infinitive. Wouldn't it be better to ask? Again, it continues with the infinitive, except that this is a question, right? These two are questions. And so there, that's why we have an inversion. That's the difference. And then with this one, this one is completely different because it would be good is different because we're going to be using the if clause. Okay, the same thing over here. Okay, it would be good and we're using the if clause. Okay. Teacher, yes. question. Yes. Uh, uh, if it would be good, uh, sería, sería mejor, no, sería bueno. Would you, pre would you prefer, sería preferible o, o algo así. Y pregunto, va, porque quiero estaba dudando ahí. Y would be better sería mejor. Ok, so it would be better to, to blah, blah, blah. It's like sería mejor si, okay. uh, so, pero ser, uh -huh. um, it, sería mejor uh, de hacer tal cosa, right? Ok. And then would you prefer, it would be um, preferiría, prefer, prefer, prefer oh, sorry. Se me está trabajando. Prefiere. Um, no. Eh, preferías hacer tal cosa. Ah, ok, ok. okay. Uh -huh. And okay. Um, the other one would, would it be better to, no sería mejor si, bla, bla, uh -huh. bla. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Por qué negativo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it would be good if, I'd be, it's like, sería mejor si. Y sure. Uh -huh. Es como una sugerencia. Yes, that's that's why it says here strong advice or suggestion. That's okay. how it says here. Strong advice or suggestion. That's what we use it for. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so that's what we saw yesterday, and we're going to be working on this today. So I'm going to ask you guys to work on this exercise. It says, put the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions. So right now we have um, example here, right? This one has already been done for you. You prefer to have food a different schedule. So the answer would be, would you prefer to have a different schedule? So I want you to do number two, number three, number four, and number five. All right? Um, 
I want you to do it individually. Okay, so we're gonna have this um, chance right now individually to work on it. And then we're gonna be working with a partner to check the answers. Excellent. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm still going to give you a little bit more time because I'm sure that most of you are not finished. Um, I'll give you a little bit more time and then we can check or better so we can go with our classmates and check.
Okay, you ready? I am ready, ready to share. Ready to share. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get you to um, uh, go into groups and check the answers. But first I'm gonna take attendance. Okay, because it's 9.05, so yeah, it's, it's, um, it's time. Okay, so Alejandra? Person teacher. All right, great. Um, Cristina? Cristina? No? Okay. Um, Annie? Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Mari? Present. And, okay, very good. Um, Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Chris? Present. Okay, very good. Um, Herson? Present. Okay, very good. Um, Chris, uh, sorry, Karina? 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 Okay. Uh, Linda? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Julia? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Marlene? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Maida? 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 Okay. Uh, Miguel? Present teacher. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Nelson? Present. Excellent. Uh, and Norma? Present teacher. Excellent. And Olga? Present teacher. Okay. Rafa? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Sanaida? Present teacher. Excellent. Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And um, Argelia? Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy? Present teacher. Very good. Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Carla. Present. Okay. Very good, and um, and uh, Will Wilbur, which is who is not here. Okay, great. All right, so I just I'm just making sure I don't I didn't hear Karina or Juan Carlos. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, great. So we're going to um. Oh, uh, wait a second. Antes que nada, se me, me acaba de cortar que Miguel has not passed. Miguel, are you there? Great teacher. Okay. No, no me ha olvidado usted. Qué bueno. <laughs> okay. Por si, por si creía, teacher, que no. lo había salvado. Cabal. <laughs> Okay, go for it, Miguel. 
Okay, ya me conecté tarde porque salí tarde. Okay, I understand. Thank you for connecting anyways. That's important. Okay, go for it. Miguel? Sí, escucho. ¿Nos va a decir sus, sus oraciones? Ah, oh, perdón. Ah, ok. My name is in space. Eh, eh, yo hice tres oraciones. Eh, one first dress call of my work is use the shirt white all days. Second, addressing customers uh, with respect. And finally, prevention of accident and safety are very values in my work. Solo esas tres hice. Ok, great. Thank you. Round of applause. Excellent. Ok, very good. Ok. No se me ha quedado nadie más, ¿verdad? Alejandra y, y Zenaida, creo yo. Sí, hey, teacher. I'm sorry, but I am ok. <laughs> Rafa y María. <laughs> Yes, teacher. <laughs> My sister. Ay, hello. Se están echando ahí la... La, la... Uh -huh. la vine. Se llama, Rafa. Están sacando la tropa al sol. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bro, brother Michael, I'm sorry, but I am finished the dialogue. Okay, are you ready, Marlene? <laughs> okay. <laughs> First, Hello, I, I. Okay. Again. Hello, Marlene. Could you explain Hello. to us about addressing teaching person? Yes, it's very important to always be polite with each one. It's so great, Marlene. Rafa, tell me about um, the dress code. I think so. It's very important for a good presentation and identification about the company. Um. Okay, and the uh, Siri table. I think um, it's a good uh, customer service in person uh, very well in everywhere. Tell me, Marlene, what do you mean about the present prevention and accident and safety? Um, is um, the this company we have a prevention of accident and safety manual because it's necessary about uh, in the emergency. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, thank you, Marlene. Have a nice day. Thank you. Nice. Bravo. Very good. Okay, that was a wonderful conversation. I'm glad you you passed because um, otherwise we you we wouldn't have been able to listen to such a nice conversation. Very good, very very good. Okay, all right. Hoy sí, verdad? No no se me quedó alguien. No. Okay, but okay. So I'm going to be now sending you to breakout rooms with a partner to compare your answers from the exercise, okay? 
So I'm going to create the groups right now. And I'm not gonna give you very much time because you, all you have to do is compare. It's not complete, it's compare, okay? So let's do that right now. All right, let's open the groups. Eh, Ani, oh, perdón, pero, pero, es Cristina la cosa. Cristina, Marlene, ¿están allí? Cristina, Marlene. No. Mayra. Mayra. Teacher, sorry, I go to my work. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Tiene que reposar un ratito. Eso. Eso es eso. Qué yo. Ok. The second sentence. I cried. Uh, wouldn't it be uh -huh. better to revise better. the manual before printing? Before printing. Ok. Yes. Number three. Yeah. Well, we will, we will be good. Well, if, be good if, if change the dress code. Code. Okay. Yes. Pero solo la voy a copiar bien. No me alcancé a escribir. Maybe I forget.
Okay, so I hope everybody had the opportunity of sharing your answers and we're gonna do, we're gonna check the answers together as a class. Um, so tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? No, no, yes. No, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you're gonna help me complete this, okay? I'm gonna ask different people to help me. Um, okay. All right, Harrison, please help me with number two. Yes, teacher. Let me see, number two is golden, sorry. Wouldn't it be better to revise, 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 say, revise it, is revise the manual before printing? Like this? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Revise. Revise, yeah. okay. Revise, okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, okay, uh, Julia, please help me with number two, Julia. Okay, number two or three, three. Oh, sorry, sorry, yes, number three. It will be good. It will be good if we change the red, the dress code. Okay, thank you. It would be good if we change the dress code. Excellent. Okay, very, very good. Okay, next. Number four. Uh, let me ask um, Nelson. Can you please help me, Nelson, with number four? Nelson. Yes. Can you help okay. me with number four, please? Okay. It will be uh no. It will be a good idea to have a to have a training manual for chief. Like that? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, so this is idea. idea. Can you repeat that? Idea. Idea. Mm -hmm. And this is a chefs. Chef. Chefs. Mm -hmm. Chef. Okay, thank you. And finally. You teach him. Okay, you can go for it, Carolina. Mm, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Like that? Question mark. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay, like that. Yeah, is that good? You agree with that? Carolina? Do you agree with that? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, great. Let's teacher, see. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What does mean chef? Chefs? No, I don't know. <laughs> Chefs. Chefs are... Uh, people uh, that dedicate themselves to cooking. Um, they are like, ah. professional cooks, uh -huh. okay? But yes, they are I... like professional, very like gourmet. Okay, <laughs> sorry, got it. That's okay. 
The chef is the big boss to the cooking and create the whole menu for the presentation, all the people. Yes, absolutely, exactly. So a chef is definitely, well, there's, well, there are different types of chefs, like, um, but um, because there's the head chef, there's a the head chef as well. But chefs are basically uh, like very professional, like they have a, they don't just cook, they, they have like a profession, right? That's a chef. Like they, they have gone to study for, for cooking, okay? Um, okay, so let's check to see if you, if you agree with these answers. So next, so the first one, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Is that okay? It's correct. Yeah, you sure? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You sure? I'll repeat. Are you sure? Look at it. Veamos quién lo detecta. Nobody. No puedo creerlo. ¿Cuántos participantes tengo acá ahorita? Vamos a ver. Twenty. Where is the question? It, it number three. No. no. We're looking at number two. There's a problem with question. number two. Huh? Question mark. Yes, exactly. We, yeah. We're forgetting our question mark. <laughs> okay. Okay. Remember, it's a question. It's not a sentence. It's a question. Notice, would it, it is, there's an inversion there. So that means it's a question, okay? Okay. All right, so don't forget that. Just like this one, would you prefer to have a different schedule? There's a question mark there. This one also has, I have a question mark. All right, next. Um, it would be good if we change the dress code. Is that okay? Okay, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. I agree. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. It's okay, teacher. Yeah? Yes. All right, good. I agree too. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? It's correct. It's correct, teacher. Correct? Yes. Good, I agree too. Okay, very good, there you go. Those are the answers. Okay, so let's stop. We're gonna start with this one. We're going to um, clear that and we're gonna go on to the next activity, which is Server's training manual index. So, work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. Exchange the index you created in the previous page with your classmate. Remember that you created an index and you decided which one should be first, which um, topic should be first in the manual, second, third, fourth, fifth, okay? You're gonna exchange that information with your partner. And you're going to give suggestions about how to improve it. So you're going to tell your partner, mm, how about if you do this? I think this would, it would be better to do this, okay? Use would be better or alternative expressions, okay? So you say, I think it would be better if blah, blah, blah. Um, um, wouldn't it be better if um, it's a, it would be, um, it would be good if blah, 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 okay? Explain the reasons of your suggestions to the class, okay? Do we understand what we have to do? 
Y por favor, no se queden callados si no la entendieron. Could you repeat again, please? Uh, of course I can, yes. I can, I can. So you're going to work in pairs, okay, with your partner. Actually, I'm going to send you with the, well, no, I'm going to switch the groups. Um, oh, wait, no, 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 I think, I think, I think we can put you in the same group. Anyways, you're going to work with your partner. Take out the index that you created before. Do you remember the index? I'm going to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you the index so that you understand what I'm talking about. And the server's training manual. Yeah, yeah. that one. A ver si lo tengo por ahí. The page number 22. Mm -hmm. This one. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember this one that we did? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So you're going to take that one out, share with your partner. Remember, you are working in different groups, so you will not have the same information with your partner. You're going to share and then give your partner suggestions. Okay. Um, you can say you can give your your partner suggestions by saying, uh, for example, I think it would be better to blah 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 blah. Okay, or uh, wouldn't. it be better to blah, 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 or um, it, it would be um, best, no, or no, uh, would you prefer to blah, 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 blah. Y el otro, ¿cuál era el otro? Can somebody remind me the other one? Would, it would, it would be, be good. good if. It would be good. Okay, yeah, it would be good if blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you're gonna give suggestions to your class your classmates as to what they they how they can change um this to make it better okay does that make sense teacher uh, -huh. uh we need to create a sentence for the wouldn't use the Example, setting a table. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Uh, we need to create a sentence with the partner. Uh, wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Use the example, uh, setting a table or the counting wine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So you give your suggestions to your partner on how to improve, how to make it better. Como mejorar the manual, the manual index. Uh -huh. How many suggestions we will be to have? Um, it's not about the quantity. It's about using them. The important thing is not is the important thing is not how many sentences. It's the important thing is try to use these exos, this um uh, these phrases here. Okay, that's what's important. Okay. To try Thank to you. use these phrases. 
okay? Teacher, examples. Uh -huh. For example, will, would you prefer to get into now the menu? Oh, oh, otro, otro, the canting whites. Uh-huh. Yes yeah. or no? Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank so you. it's clear now? We understand what we have to do? Yes, teacher. <laughs> oh, For me, yes. Okay, good. It's clear for everybody? Okay. All right, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Um, you give me a moment. Look at those. Teacher, yeah. excuse me, uh, sentences or? No, speaking. Only. Speaking. Ah, uh, speaking. Okay. 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 O sea, el punto de esa actividad es de que ustedes utilicen esas estructuras. The giving suggestions and things like that. But use it in a real situation. Whether when you're giving a suggestion to your partner. Okay? Eh, pero vamos a exponerlo. O sea, eso es mi pregunta. Eh, o solo en el, en el break around speaking. So speaking speaking ok ok speaking Thank English, you. please please no quiero que me no quiero entrar al grupo y estar escuchando español ok we talked about this before there is o sea, it doesn't make sense to try to learn English while speaking Spanish it doesn't make sense and I don't want you to waste beautiful time precious time that you can be using practicing your English, okay? All right? Okay, so here we go. I'm opening up the rooms. So I'm gonna give you 10 minutes, okay? It's clear for everybody? Yes, yes teacher. No teacher, it's clear for me. Okay, good. I'm opening the rooms right now. Drink wine. <laughs> yeah, I it will be better, but <laughs> but let me see the uh, for me the wine is very very terrible. Yeah, that will be the first one. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> If good be better, is good be good if drink um water or natural juice. <laughs> <laughs> In the uh, world, uh -huh. I, I don't know how do you say ideal. <laughs> 
but I, I drink coke, coffee, and other sodas. <laughs> <laughs> um, wouldn't it will be better? Uh, Setting a table first. Mm. Why not? It's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Maybe we, we need to make sure that we have a table. Yes. I need a table in front of the beach or uh -huh. in front, of, in front yeah. of the... Uh, one moment, terraza. <laughs> um, be, um, terrace. 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 I, I, is it would be better uh, setting a table in front to the terrace? Terrace. Also, if motivation is a motivation, uh, uh, personal uh, about tips uh, and taxes is important. Uh, is an out. Is is um, is necessary. Okay. In a novella has a part of the rules of etiquette, setting a table is an important part of presentation. I think it would be better to uh, make a manual, manual for etiquette for them. So. Okay, it, 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 it would be better to let in restaurants the horario it's will better it will be good it which is the first yes sir. It will be good if following the schedule. Number two. Fluent is missing, but getting the no, I no, I Podría ser if work be good. Está quemando mucho humo. <laughs> it's, in my case, it it would 
quiero ver cuál voy a usar. My guess, in my guess, you prefer to have different sketch roots. Sketch roots. Mm -hmm. um, the dress code at work is part of the order of the company. It will be better to the use of uniform for, for them. Okay, is um, in my words is um, would in would it be better to let the manager decide? Yeah. Only. Mm. Other ma, other. Mm. I think finish. Okay. Um. Yeah, would you, ya usamos, would you, would you prefer, wouldn't, ah, wouldn't it be better to, or, ah, okay, is, is, would in the better in the better to or requisite requisites assistant re, re, requesting como dice requesting se pronuncia um, requesting requesting the sketch requesting 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 assistant it wouldn't would with wouldn't is be better to re requesting a chief change in to my request, case to request a chief a uh, shift change she's a uh, chief change sí. <laughs> sí, no voy a hablar <laughs> no. request a shift change change ah okay thank you request a yeah. uh, Shift change. Shift change. Change. Shift change. Change. Yeah. yeah, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Or only teacher. <laughs> uh, my, no, my ideas. Ideas. Como es ideas? Ideas. Ideas. Me muerdo la lengua. No, you're fine. Okay, are you ready? ready? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, because we're gonna be going to the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay, okay thank you. You're welcome. I wet the watchers schedule. I have heavy house, but I have Hello, teacher. Hello, what happened? I'm sorry, uh, my computer is on dating. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna bring everybody back. Okay. Okay, so I hope you already had the opportunity there of, um, of giving suggestions to your partner. 
And what we're going to do now is the following. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes? Yes, I see. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Great. So we're going to be creating a survey. For this survey, uh, we're going to be using the words um, seated dishes dining take, uh, take in server. So it says complete the set of. Oh, hold on. Give me a moment. Give me one second. Get a. Me acabo de dar cuenta de algo. So dame un momentito. Second, guys, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint right now. You see the PowerPoint? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, very good. Um, okay, so we're gonna be creating a conversation, uh, sorry, a survey. First, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be discussing these questions. So we have, is there a quality department in your workplace? And do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? So tell me, do, is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, everybody has a quality control department? Yes. Yes? Everybody? Okay. Yes. Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Everybody, they monitor your procedures? And evaluate, they evaluate them? Yes. Okay. okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so now we're gonna do precisely that, what I told you, you're gonna complete the survey, the construction survey using the word dishes taking the server. And the- Teachers escucha una interferencia. Okay, let's make sure that we have our microphones off, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna be completing the survey using this. We're gonna be using the word seated, dishes, dining, taking, and server. Do you understand these five questions, the, this five vocabulary? Do you understand what they mean? Yes or no? Yes, to choose. Yes. Okay, all right. So here we have, so it says, please indicate your level of, of agreement or disagreement with the following statements. We were mm promptly. The mm was there to take our order quickly. The server was friendly and patient when mm our order. Our server coordinated the timing of the mm perfectly. The server was able to answer all of our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Considering everything, our 
mm, experience was a good value. So you're going to be completing with the correct word, whatever you think is the correct word from these ones right here. Okay, are we ready? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, are we ready now? Check. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. Yes, it's uh, To save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna ask you me quickly. We were? Ready. And anybody, just open your microphone and tell me. We were? Dining. We were for me dining. For me seated. 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 For me dining. The first one. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, seated. seated promptly. Seated. Nos sentaron. Nos sentaron pronto. Seated. Seated. Okay. Seated. We were seated promptly. Nos fuimos eh, oh, uh, nos sentaron pronto. Okay, next. Nos acomodaron. Mm -hmm. yeah. Server. 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 
The server, server. is uh, the waiter. It almost looks like that's another word for waiter. The server was there to take our order quickly. The server was friendly and patient when? Taking. 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 Very good. When taking our order. Al tomar nuestra orden. Our server coordinated the timing of the? Dishes. Dishes. Dining. Good. The dish perfectly. Dishes. Ajá. De los platos. La coordinó el, la, la hora de todos los platos. The server was able to answer our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. Consider everything our dining. 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 dining experience was a good value. Okay. Nuestra experiencia eh, de, I don't know how we can say dining, but eh, como de, de, nuestra experiencia de, ¿cómo podemos decir? En Google, gastronomía. Experiencia gastronómica. Gastronómico. Gastronómico. I don't know. Es que suena raro. Yeah. Gastronómica. I don't know. Vamos oh, ya. Yeah. Bueno, pero, pero esa es la idea. Algo así. De comenzar. Uh -huh. Ya voy a buscar la mejor palabra. Ya. Ok. Anyway, so that's it. Ok, we're going to stop there. This is the end of our class today, except that we need to take attendance, so no se me vayan, okay? Y, uh, y recuerdo, les recuerdo que el día de hoy se les to le toca Nelson, okay? Les, um, les hago saber para la próxima semana sería Norma para el lunes, Olga para el martes, Rafa para el miércoles, Zenaida para el jueves y Suleima Rodríguez para el viernes. Sabe que ustedes ahí más o menos se van um, preprogramando. Ok, so, como siempre, les voy, vamos a hacerlo así rápido. Entonces, díganme, solo abren su micrófono y voy a ir rapidito. Alejandra. Present, teacher. Cristina. Present, teacher. Um, Ani. Present teacher. Maris, Mari. Present. Carolina. Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, Chris, Christy. Present. Gerson. Present. Karina. Present teacher. Karina. Carolina. No, Karina, dije. No, Karina, creo que no ha estado. Ok, eh, Linda. Present teacher. Julie. Julia. Ok, Marlene. Marlene. Present. Ok, good. Mayra. Mayra. No está. Eh, Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Nelson. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Naida. Present teacher. Leima eh, Rodríguez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Ar Argelia. Present teacher. Nancy. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Carla. Present. Y Wilber. Ok, bueno chicos, eso sería todo. Acuérdense de trabajar en la plataforma este fin de semana para que no les agarre la tarde el lunes. Y se cuiden mucho, descansen, disfruten para poder estar listos para el, para el lunes, ok? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Teacher, un question. Sí. Hasta el midterm tenemos que hacer. Sí. Sí. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Okay. No, Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good, bye. Night. Good night. Weekend. Good night, teacher. Good night, weekend, everyone. Quedo con con Nelson. No se vaya ahí, Nelson. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Good night, Carolina.
ya se acabó toda la clase y yo no me puedo salir. <risa> Está bien. Si quiere, la, la saco. <risa> no sé. Vamos a ver la, si la saco. Um... No, espera un momentito. La voy a poner en la sala de espera. Ya. Ah, ya estuvo. Ok. Zenaida, usted también. Okay, vamos a poner en sala de espera. Ok. Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien. Se me está durmiendo. No. No, ok. Ok, no es que le, le miraba así como con ojitos así como que ya, ya quería. No, es que ya a esta hora ya están cansados. Sí, yo sé, yo sé, no es fácil, no es fácil, pero le agradezco un montón por, por su compromiso. ¿Verdad? Eso, eso es um, siempre eh, muy loable. Cuénteme, Nelson, ¿qué, eh, ¿cómo le podría ayudar el día de hoy? Únicamente con lo último que hemos visto, ahí sí me he quedado perdido. ¿Qué parte? En lo de Wood. Sí, eso, Wood. Ah, eh, las sugerencias. Given advice, uh -huh. suggestion, eso. Ah, bien, ok. Perdón, se me fue la cámara de repente. Ok, uh, bien, le voy a compartir. Estuvo usted aquí eh, el, ayer el día, pero el día de ayer estuvo acá. Estuve escuchando, pero no pude ver porque no estaba en la casa. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, quizá, quizás eso es lo que le ha, le, le ha causado un poquito más de dificultad. Ok, Va, entonces eh, lo primero es que vamos a analizar estas oraciones. Ok, entonces esto es strong advice or suggestions, ok. Entonces eh, son sugerencias bastante fuertes, ¿verdad? No solo es como que, ah, yo creo que sería una buena idea. Es como que mm, eh, deberías de hacerlo. O sea, realmente te va a ir mejor si lo haces. ¿verdad? Entonces es un, una sugerencia más, más fuerte, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo más común que nosotros utilizamos cuando queremos dar una sugerencia es eh, que le ponemos la would it, um, it would be better. Normalmente empezamos con it siempre. El, 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 el pronombre siempre va a ser it. O, o, no, o casi la mayor de Digamos el 95% de la vez va a ser it. Entonces, it would be better, it would be better, it would be better. Siempre. ¿Note? Mm -hmm. It would be better. ¿Va? So, it would be better to get a proper written agreement. It would, it would be better to buy a size too large rather than too small. It would be better to let the children have free time um, to run around the garden or hall. When materials finally degrade, sources are, are lost forever. So it would be better to reuse them. Entonces, it would be better, it would be better. Esa es la estructura. Después de eso, lo que normalmente le ponemos es um, el infinitive, el to infinitive. To get, to buy, to let, to reuse, ok? ¿Note? Yes. Es una estructura. Entonces, eso nuevamente significa, sería mejor hacer tal cosa. 
¿ok? Sería mejor, uh, en este caso sería, eh, sería mejor um, tener una, un acuerdo, eh, un acuerdo formal por escrito. ¿verdad? Eso es lo que significa acá. It would be better to buy a size too large rather than a size too small. Sería, sería mejor eh, comprar una talla más grande más grande o una talla muy grande en vez de una talla demasiado pequeña. Ok. It would be better to let the children have free time to run around the garden or, or hall. Sería mejor dejar al, um, que los niños tengan tiempo libre para correr eh, alrededor del jardín o el corredor. Ya. Yeah. Uh, and when materials finally agree, the sources are lost forever, so it would be better to reuse them. Entonces sería, cuando los materiales finalmente se degradan, uh, los recursos se pierden para siempre, entonces sería mejor reusarlos o reutilizarlos. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. ¿Está, ¿Está bastante claro hasta el momento? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Eso, eso es lo que normalmente se utiliza, pero hay alternativas a esto. Y las alternativas son esas que están aquí, que de, normal, en vez de decir, uh, podemos hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor. Entonces, would you prefer es, no preferirías, bla, 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 o eh, no sería mejor si, bla, bla, bla. ¿Ok? Entonces, esa es la otra, la otra manera que se puede utilizar. Eh, note que son preguntas. Entonces, siempre vamos a usar would or wouldn't, el, el, um, el pronombre y el verbo. ¿Ok? Pero al igual que los otros, ahí sí utilizamos el infinitivo. To wait and to ask. Entonces, would you prefer to wait for the results to come back? ¿Preferirías esperar para que los resultados regresaran? ¿O would it be better to ask her instead of just assuming? ¿No sería mejor preguntarle a ella en vez de asumir? Right? Ok, so that's an alternative, haciendo preguntas. Y por último, la otra alternativa sería utilizando it would be good. It would be good or it would be good. Sería bueno. Entonces, en este es un poquito diferente porque aquí vamos a utilizar eh, if you did some research. Note, if you did some research. Esto ya entonces ya no es el infinitive como los otros. ¿no? Note, los otros es to get, to buy, to let, to reuse, to wait, to ask. Aquí ya no es infinitive. Es una oración con condición. Entonces sería, it would be good if you did some research before. Sería bueno si tú hicieras uh, investigación antes. Or it would be good if they considered another option. Sería bueno si consideraran otra opción. Entonces utilizamos el, el, eh, la condición que es if, ¿verdad? O, o en español, si. Sería bueno si. Sí. ¿Ok? Esa es la diferencia. Entonces las alternativas son o hacemos preguntas utilizando would you prefer or would it, would it be be, wouldn't it be better o usamos el, it would be good pero aquí ya no utilizamos el infinitive sino que una condición. ¿Estamos un poquito más claro? Sí, ya, un poco mejor. Ok, ok. Entonces, y aquí, eh, esta parte de acá lo explica mejor, ¿verdad? Lo que está en el libro. ¿Verdad? Eh, que entonces vamos a estar utilizando el subject, que el subject les decía que era más que todo el it, después would be better y el infinitivo. Y aquí están algunos ejemplos. Aquí están las alternativas. ¿Okay? Las dos preguntas y 
it would be good con la condición. Okay. Aquí está. Para, y las alternativas con las preguntas. ¿verdad? O utilizando el condicional con if. Ok, ahí está. ¿Alguna preguntita? Ah, y bueno, de hecho, aquí está un ejemplo. It would be good. Would be good. Ah, perdón. It would be good. Y después utilizamos el if. ¿verdad? Y lo demás de la condición. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Qué piensas sobre eso? ¿Lo, ¿Lo hemos entendido o no mucho? Sí, lo entendí mejor. ¿Sí? Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Y cuando usted no pueda um, ingresar a clase, acuérdese que siempre tenemos um, las, los videos que se suben al, al canal de YouTube que de hecho por eso están, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan repasarlo. Entonces, si hay algo que, alguna preguntita, alguna duda, puede usted ver los videos para ver la explicación. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces Nelson, ya no lo, lo, ya no lo entretengo más porque ya tenemos que ir a descansar, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, bueno, pues un gusto haberlo visto. Cuídese mucho eh, y descanse el fin de semana y nos vemos el lunes. Ok, muchas gracias. De nada. Adiós.